Today we're going to try to plot bearings. I have two methods. First is to input the distances first and worry about the bearing or computation later. The second one is to put the computations first and then draw it later. We are looking at the photo of the lot bearing technical description from a lot title. Go we'll place all distances first and compute the bearings later. So, over the bearing first and just look at this. 1 to 2 is 15.31. 2 to 3 is 0.88. 3 to 4 is 4.49. 4 to 5 is 13.3 .3, and 5 to 1 is 5. Now that we have the distances, it's time to compute for the bearing. In computing for the bearing, just divide the minutes by 60. 19 degrees, 5 minutes divided by 60. We will need the calculator for this. 0, 5 divided by 60 equals 0 0.083 so this becomes 19.083 the first letter says north which means to say this is facing north the second letter says west which means this has to go 19 degrees 0 0.083 towards the west there we have our first line label this number one for the second line we have south 87.18 east so we'll convert the 18 18 divided by 60 is 0.3 it just means 87.3 towards the east from point number two Two. Next, 87.18, so that's the same value as the first, 4.49. I know it's the same value as this one, so I could just align it using a guide. Okay, I can name this number three. We have 4 to 5, 19, 0, 8, 13, 30. So this is facing south. 0, 8 is 8 divided by 60, which is 0.133 towards the east. 19.133. Right. Be sure not to hit the other lines or they might merge. And you could just connect the last part. In most cases, it's not exactly the same or exact measurement when it comes to the last part. However, in this case, it's exactly 5 meters, which means we did a good job. Anyways, we could just check it again. Let's try the reverse computation. I will see what bearing this is south to west by looking at the lower right I could see that the angle is 70.7 .7. let me compute for 54 54 divided by 60 is 0 0.9 close enough because our sketch of angles usually snap by every 15 and displays only until a one digit after decimal accuracy we could not always say it's exactly the same as what it is here. The second way to do it is to convert all bearings first and then place the distances later. Let's try it. Bring out the calculator. 5 divided by 60 is 0 0.083. Alright. Next, 18 divided by 60 is 
Same with down here. 8 divided by 60 is 0.133. And lastly, 54 divided by 60 is 0.9. Some kind of glitch on the last part since the one a while ago was 0.7. Next, after bearing computations, plot the distance. Alright. Number one faces north, which is 15.31 meters. 15.31. Enter. Select. North goes 19.083 west. So it's the same method as a while ago, except we already have the computations, so we could just focus on the plotting. Next says south, which is 0.88 meters, 87.3. Next, same direction, it's the guide again, that is 4.49 meters. Next we have number 4 to 5 which is 13.3 south, 19.133 east. And lastly the 5 meter. Let's check, this is 70.9, 5 meters. 70.9 see that's a small discrepancy anyways so most of the time we just enclose the last one but we have to indicate in the plan more or less our adjustments it's supposed to be five once you have everything done that one and two you finally Label them where the road is, square Remington area is, what are the surrounding lots. That's how to plot in SketchUp. Thank you.